Prepare to have your reality shaken and your imagination ignited as groundbreaking scientific revelations unfold. In a mind-bending journey that defies the limits of our known universe, discover the astonishing evidence that points to the existence of another dimension. Hold on to your seats, because what you're about to witness will challenge everything you thought you knew about the cosmos. Get ready for a riveting exploration into the realm of the unknown, as scientists unveil shocking proof for the existence of an extraordinary new dimension. Scientists have devised a novel and bewildering state of matter that behaves as though it possesses two dimensions of time. By subjecting the qubits of a quantum computer to laser pulses inspired by the Fibonacci sequence, physicists have showcased a technique for storing quantum information with reduced error susceptibility. A remarkable phase of matter, previously unseen, materialized when a sequence of laser pulses mimicking the Fibonacci sequence was directed at atoms within a quantum computer. In the journal Nature, the physicist disclosed that this phase exhibits the advantages of two temporal dimensions, despite a singular flow of time. This mind-bending characteristic yields a coveted advantage. Information retained within this phase is significantly fortified against errors compared to alternative configurations used in quantum computers. Consequently, data could endure much longer without corruption, a pivotal advancement toward realizing quantum computing's potential. Philip Dumitrescu, the study's lead author, emphasized this pivotal step. Additional Time Dimension Philip Dumitrescu, the primary author of the study, remarked that this development, which harnesses an additional time dimension, represents an entirely new approach to understanding phases of matter. After more than five years of theoretical work, witnessing these concepts manifested in experiments is exhilarating. The theoretical facet of the research was guided by Dumitrescu, in conjunction with Andrew Potter from the University of British Columbia, Roman Vasure from the University of Massachusetts, and Ajesh Kumar from the University of Texas. Experiments were conducted at Quantinum in Broomfield, Colorado, utilizing a quantum computer led by project head Brian Nayan Hughes. The team's quantum computer employs 10 ytterbium atomic ions as computational workhorses. Laser pulses permit the manipulation and measurement of each ion within an ion trap, wherein the ion trap's electric fields individually confine and govern each ion. In the realm of physics, each atomic ion functions as a quantum bit or qubit. Unlike traditional binary bits, which signify ones and zeros, qubits leverage quantum physics peculiarities to store more intricate information. A qubit, analogous to Schrödinger's cat, can be a one, a zero, or a superposition of both simultaneously, a state termed superposition. The information density and the interactions between qubits hold the potential to empower quantum computers to tackle computational problems beyond classical computers' reach. Yet, much like Schrödinger's cat, interacting with a qubit determines its state, and such interactions aren't always intentional. Even with precise control, atoms can lose their quantum properties by interacting with their environment, heating up, or engaging with unanticipated factors. The task is to bolster qubits' resilience to these challenges, and this can be achieved through symmetries, properties resistant to change. While the rhythmic firing of laser pulses imparts time symmetry to atoms, Dimitriski and collaborators contemplated enhancing this approach. Singular time symmetry? Hence, the researchers aimed not only for a singular time symmetry, but sought to incorporate two. This was achieved by utilizing laser pulses with an ordered yet non-repetitive pattern. To grasp their approach, considering ordered but non-repeating structures like quasi-crystals proves most effective. A typical crystal exhibits repetitive, orderly arrangements, similar to the hexagonal honeycomb pattern formed by cells. In contrast, quasi-crystals maintain order while presenting unique patterns with each observation. The Penrose tiling exemplifies this concept. Crystals existing in higher dimensions can be projected or compressed into lower dimensions to create quasi-crystals, an astounding idea. 
These higher dimensions even extend beyond the familiar three dimensions of physical space. For instance, a 2D Penrose tilling is a slice projected from a 5-day latex. Dimitriscu, Vasser, and Potter introduced the concept of developing quasi-crystals in time rather than space in 2018, qubits. The researchers devised a quasi-periodic laser pulse sequence rooted in the Fibonacci sequence. While a periodic laser pulse alternates as A, B, A, B, A, B, their system employs the Fibonacci sequence. In this sequence, each element's value equals the sum of the values of its two preceding elements. A, A, B, A, B, A, B, A, A, B, A, B, A, A, B, A, A, B, A, B, A, A, B, A, etc. Like a quasi-crystal, this orderly arrangement lacks repeating elements. Moreover, it's a 2D pattern compressed into a single dimension, similar to a quasi-crystal. This compression of space-time potentially engenders two temporal symmetries rather than just one. The addition of a hypothetical temporal dimension introduces another level of symmetry, even if this dimension doesn't exist in reality. Despite the complexity of real-world quantum computers, experimentalists tested the theory on Quantium's quantum computer. Laser light bursts were directed at the qubits in the computer at regular intervals, following a Fibonacci-based pattern. The edge qubits of the tin atom array received primary focus, as they were expected to reveal the new phase of matter exhibiting dual temporal symmetries. During the periodic test, the edge qubits maintained their quantum state for almost 1.5 seconds, a notable duration given their intense interactions. Thanks to the quasi-periodic pattern, the qubits sustained their quantum state throughout the roughly 5.5-second experiment. Dimitriscu attributes this prolonged coherence to the added temporal symmetry, which mitigates flaws along the edge. He explains that this quasi-periodic sequence initiates a sophisticated evolution that counteracts edge-related flaws, extending quantum mechanical coherence. While the findings suggest the newfound phase of matter holds promise for long-term quantum information storage, integrating it into quantum computing's computational aspect remains a challenge. Dimitrovsky points out that while a direct application with potential exists, integrating it seamlessly into calculations is the next step. If you've enjoyed insights in this video, we'd greatly appreciate your support. Be sure to show your appreciation by hitting the thumbs up button and joining our community of engaged viewers. By subscribing to our channel, you'll be in the front row for all our upcoming content, ensuring you never miss a moment of the exciting discoveries and discussions that lie ahead.